So today is 28 October and that at 12 a.m. on December 1st, students from different IITs will be sitting for their own day one interviews. And in this video, I have Akila with me who will be sharing her own Oracle interview experience. And if you are in a hurry, you can go to the last timestamp to check out the summary of the whole video. So let's start. He asked me to solve the Pascal triangle. So you have to get after third round. Why Mtech uh, after your job? Like why you want to come for Mtech? Hey everyone, my name is Ron Jaiswal and I'm back on the fourth episode of Interview and Plug. In this video, we have Akila Preeti who recently cracked Oracle interviews and yeah, so let's have a brief introduction about her. So I'm Akila Preeti from Mtech uh, second year, CSE department, like the same branch as uh, Rohan. Uh, so I just recently appeared for the Oracle interview, like and I recruited as the full-time software engineer. Can you tell them like uh, how many rounds were there? What was the selection criteria? What was the CPI criteria? And all these things. Yeah. So first, it's like uh, everyone can appear for the Oracle visa now because there is no uh, such criteria like uh, CPI criteria this time. And so, what about the tenth, twelfth? No. There was no. No criteria for them then. Okay, so everyone can appear for Everyone can appear for the Oracle. Written exam. So almost everyone has uh, taken this exam because this is a good company. <laughs> so like in the written, uh, it's like before the criteria was different. Like they used to ask a lot of questions in the Oracle. But this time they only asked 7 to 8 questions. Out of which uh, like one is the coding question which is from DP from Alex. And the second is the rest API question which you need to go through if you don't. Uh, you are not aware of because it's really plays an important role and you have to do it. And actually, for that rest API, I took help from him. He, he just like uh, like he learned me the complete rest API, like which is at least important for the Oracle in one day itself. So like that, I have covered that also. And also there will be like one day DBMS DBMS query which you need to do it, and that will be like a medium level. So my SQL query. My SQL query, yeah. like it's medium level. So we have to do that as well, and uh, followed by the five to six MCQs. So, uh, like, what was the level of the coding question marks in the written exams? Yeah, I guess it's not a single set for the Oracle. Like, uh, there are five to six sets, yeah, like multiple, multiple, sets. multiple sets. So, uh, like, the level was like the medium to hard, so easy. So, if there are two questions, one you could find it like uh, easy to medium level, and other will be medium to hard. And the one question, like most of them got a uh, rest API question as well because uh, uh, Oracle is recruiting for two roles one is a uh, ST, MST, and the other is apps. apps. So, MST is basically server development. Yeah. <laughs> so, basically, like there were multiple sets and everyone was getting either two coding questions yes. and one API question, or, or one coding question, one API question, and one uh, query question, right? Yes. And rest of them were, uh, I guess, MCQs. Yes. So, what were the topics of those MCQs? So MCQs, I remember like uh, two, three questions were from DSA, like stacks and queues, and uh, like they have given a code and they want to find the logical error from that. So and the other is from DBMS. So all the questions were like uh, you can do it if you like you have some more amount of time. So if you don't have to hurry about it because you have one and a half time, one and a half hour time, and it's not like a good it first mm-hmm. they are selected. So you have plenty of amount of time. So you could possibly do them. Okay, so these were about the written exam, right? So yes. you were shortlisted for the interviews also. Yes. So <laughs> how many rounds were there and what were the topics which were covered in those rounds? Yeah. So actually for the Oracle, uh, three rounds, uh, two technical rounds and one HR round. So for the first round, uh, like uh, <laughs> frankly speaking, uh, I was not confident about the first round because uh, like there are so many of my batchmates who are selected for the Oracle and uh, I was like the third batch who was going in for the interview and there were already two, two batches like almost 20 members completed the interview, interview process so I was asking them like what was the level of patients that, that were so asked So you were shortlisted for uh, ST or uh, I was shortlisted for ST okay. So I was asking like who are coming out like uh, how, how was their performance or whether they were shortlisted or not but to my surprise there were, no one was saying that they were shortlisted so, I was like, what they want when they hear for recruiting or not because almost 15 people completed their interview and uh, uh, like I was I was not saying that they are like more than my level say, because they have done thousands of courses and also they were like uh, who, who are the people with uh, 4 to 5 years of like, uh, experience so experience is also there, coding is also there so still I was not getting like what, what they wanted from like what they wanted to hire actually so then I felt like it's ok 
okay <laughs> it's okay it's recession time it's not that good for us so maybe they they are they are here they don't want to make actually better. less companies are coming and the companies who are coming also they are taking very less amount of time it's like really bad this time yeah. so uh, like i was really confused like i didn't got like uh, what was the expected so as now, now this time i thought like it's okay chill like i, I was going to give it calm whatever it happens it happens and then went there i was smiling actually and he started he has my resume in my in his hand so i was thinking uh, like i was very much ready for my introduction to give an introduction like <laughs> definitely think that uh, this was the first question i will be preparing for that but to me this introduction i have my two hours of uh, preparation preparation for that. backstage <laughs> yeah backstage preparation for that and i was expecting that actually <laughs> then he did ask me uh, any introduction Directly started with the basic. Leave all these things and just <laughs> just solve this question for me. Okay. <laughs> so he just gave me a piece of paper and he just uh, started with the basic questions like uh, differences between the stacks in smaller, smaller, linear structures. More about the differences between and all like more basic questions. He just wanted to comfort me maybe, so he started with the easy questions. And then after all all this uh, stuff, he asked me to solve the Pascal triangle. Then the funny thing is like I asked him what is Pascal triangle. <laughs> he literally looked at my face like uh, from how many days you are doing coding <laughs> because that's the silly like the very starting stages of coding even will start. Then I said like I started this sentence not more than three to four months. So I, uh, maybe I could really solve it if you could say the good explanation because for any good question we will get an explanation for that like something is asked. Then he he just explained me that uh, like he has given me a figure of that Pascal triangle and I solved it like I solved it in five five minutes. Then it's done. Later he asked me to solve the digital clock. Then like it's a logical uh, 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 like in the coding language it's like logical problem and it's of medium level. So I just, I just did it there. And then I was selected for the second round. So in the second round uh, there is a question that is asked from graphs. One is from graphs, and the other other question is like uh, it's from like even in that one, directly two coding questions were asked. Nothing mm-hmm. much like introduction at all. So the second question is about the two pointers. Two pointers. So, yeah, two pointers approach. So I have solved it directly. Like uh, he asked me to directly do the optimal approach as first time I uh, like started from the brute force to optimal. For the graph question. Yes. Can you specify what algorithm was asked? Uh, for graph, I actually use DFS. DFS. Yes. So DFS. Yes, <laughs> and most of the questions like which could be solved from BFS can be solved with BFS also. Like you have to give a better explanation why you have taken this one, like why you have used this one. Yeah. So the second question is about two pointers, and I have directly given the optimal solution or the answers as he asked for. And then there comes the third round, the <laughs> third round. So here we can't be more confident about like after completing two rounds also because uh, even they are uh, like rejecting the third yeah. round also. So I got rejected after third round. Okay, <laughs> I gave all the rounds. Yes, I knew. I gave all the rounds, and then after that, in the like in the morning, 5:30, they got they made me like sorry, bro. <laughs> yes, it happened with many of my friends. So I don't want to take even like I want to take the chair and also serious. So like I'm inside and uh, like he's so cool. Like I felt it like he's so cool and uh, like the chair is like. I like to communicate uh, much, so I felt it comfortable after going inside. It started like, uh, what is the difficult problem we have faced till now, and like how you felt after solving it. So he asked like that. So which is like, why MTech uh, after your job? Like why you want to come for MTech, or why don't you? Why like why I should uh, agree? Like you won't uh, go for higher studies after joining me for that. So you basically you are having job experience. Also. Yes. So for how many years? I have two years of experience in two years only. Okay. So after that, I joined. So he just asked me like, uh, how can you guarantee that you you will not go for your uh, higher studies after uh, joining to right? Like you can be HR uh, like you can be genuine sometimes or you yeah. can be funny sometimes. Yeah, yeah, because there is no right or wrong answer. Right? Yes, yes. HR. You 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 like you try to be funny also. Like it gives you a bit better impression sometimes. Like not all the times. <laughs> But sometimes it gives a better impression. So when he asked me like, why don't you go for higher studies after your yeah, joining program? So I said like, I joined here yeah, after Corona because I'm depressed in Corona, and I don't think there will be another virus attack after joining in Odai. So he, he was like a bit impressed like why I'm talking so calmly, so it's not taking it uh, like so pressurized or something like that. So even like it's a uh, one hour from which I wrote. 
all the questions were asked of or of behavior level only two or three technical questions like what is cloud in terms of theory so there are some questions which are technical like two three questions and most of the of, of, of them are managed here or your behavior questions in general so uh, they didn't ask you some of the questions right so no, why you prepared these studies ah. yes i definitely prepared the system design for so we don't do for some companies there definitely a, a specific round for the system design yeah. so for that you need to be prepared for that that in being in the association time you can't take uh, like you have to take every opportunity into consideration so i i prepared for system design from cloud side but i <laughs> that to be for point five experience because <laughs> i don't have much time left uh, but then i thought like it won't be completed in so much time then i followed uh, google meet up <laughs> actually <laughs> don't search for it in google <laughs> that's my friend <laughs> So I uh, like uh, he along with the GitHub. Yeah, you can search in GitHub or you will find him. So I followed him. <laughs> he actually like uh, explained everything in two days. Actually, that's purely blog. Yeah, so, basically we were doing the coding stuff and he was doing the system design stuff. So I can stuff. say, uh, yeah, I could definitely say one thing. Like if you have, if you don't have much time or you prepare much, you you need to have a good friends list at least to cover all this. So that's it for this video guys i hope you got some takeaways from this video and also if you want me to make the interview experience of some other company you can comment it below okay and if you like the video please subscribe to my channel and like this video also and all the best for your interview guys and i'll see you in the next video so tab tak ke liye bye bye i don't listen to the haters man i treat them like the enemy had a couple traders man but now they know the penalty i tell them see you later fam i do not need this jealousy i got no time for failure man i want to leave a legacy I